And the insight of this institution is, yes, there will be conflict, but conflict does not need to result in armed conflict. And there are ways to avoid that. And those ways can be learned, and they can be taught. And that's really what the mission of this organization is. I say that it's even more relevant um, because uh, as we deal with these kinds of, of problems, um, there is a terrific role for the Institute really in two ways. One of the things we've, we learned about Iraq uh, from our engagement in Iraq, in Afghanistan, we're learning today in Pakistan, is in these situations where there are societies in conflict, particularly where there is terrorism, that has taken root in those societies. Um, you're not going to solve the problems uh, by, by a t defense, by, by military means. You're not going to solve them by technology. You can have a drone program in Pakistan till the cows come home, and it will not bring stability to that country. And what we've learned is that um, in addition to strengthening security forces in countries, you've got to strengthen the institutions. I don't call it nation building. Countries build and peoples build their own nations. But you can help them to develop institutions. And if you're going to get st stability in a place like Iraq, Pakistan, and Afghanistan, then you've got to have governments that are able to to have strong security forces, but also have governments for which those security forces will fight. They have to be governments that are not corrupt, that are transparent, that are responsive, that are competent. Governments that are able to begin then to pursue development programs that offer jobs for young, alternatives to participating in terrorism, and a prospect for a prosperous society. We can help that process, but the skills that are required require you to have this very exquisite combination of governance initiatives, development initiatives, and efforts to broker peace among competing groups. These are civilian capabilities. Um, we tried to, to give this mission in some sense to the military in Iraq, and we found that the military, and there's no military in the world better than ours, were not well suited to them. We've spent, as a country, um, billions and billions and billions of dollars and 60 years learning how to recruit, train, fight, and improve our military. We have not made anything like the comparable commitment to develop these civilian capabilities in our government that can help societies under pressure build good governance, develop, and provide a better life for their people. 